Hey guys, what's going on? This is Marshall Dice, known as Adam Campbell. And General Dice, known as Todd Evangelista. And we are live here at, at Groundhog Day Gaming Retreats with... Super Dave Radzik with Ancon. And this is the only show that you don't get hanged for for being a witch. <laughs> so, so, far. What, so far, so far. <laughs> so Good far. deal, though. But what game do we got today? Well, I'm here representing Mayfair Games. Uh, we have a selection of games we're running. One in particular that I enjoy is called The Witches. I've been demoing it at Origins for the last two years. Uh, it's a fairly straightforward, simple game based on the Terry Pratchett books. You're playing a fledgling witch, two to four players. Uh, you go around the town of Lanker solving problems. Now, there are common day problems like sick pigs, uh, a death in the family, things like that. You've, they have a complexity number and they have a score. Okay, so you're going to go around and you're going to try to solve the simple problems. Uh, in solving simple problems on your character sheet, for every two, you get one extra hand size to your car cards to your hand size. Okay. So you start with three and you get a potential of seven. Okay. Okay, so that's nice. That's your experience for that. All right. Now, eventually, you want to start handling the purple problems. They're the complex problems. Not the purple problems. The no, purple the purple problems. problems are what you want. They're hard, though. You want them. They're harder, but they're worth more. Okay. Okay, whereas the simpler problems go from a difficulty of 7 to 12, they only range 1 to 3 points, whereas these go from 3 points to 7 points, okay. but the difficulty range is 16 to 23. All right. Okay, all right. so they're much harder. Yeah, to roll a 23 on 4 dice is difficult. Yeah, it's difficult. Now you'll get to add cards and things. Every two of the hard problems you do, however, gets you plus one to your die rolls. All right. So that's that's learning experience that way. You become better at dealing with problems. So that's that's the crux of the game. So beginning of every game on a turn, we're going to flip over a card. Now the cards have three aspects to them. They have the top symbol, which could be a broomstick, a you yeah. got one. There's a head and, yeah, magic. It's called headology. It looks like a Groucho glasses. And then you have two hex symbols, and that's magic. So the headology, you're using your wits and intelligence intelligent knowledge. knowledge. And, and, and then the hexes are magic. And we should talk about the, the cackle. Yes. Because if you use your magic, you get plus two to the die roll, right. but you also have to take a cackle. Take a cackle. You'll earn one of these. And that's it. that represents, like, stress. So you can play a card for the top aspects. Okay. okay. Um, they have a personality, but then the broomstick is for flying. Normally you move one space. And you could do that twice in a turn. Okay. If you move to an empty space, you can move through. If you move to a space that has either a problem or another witch, you have to stop. That becomes an action. If you stop with a witch, you can have tea. Tea removes cackle points. So it's very good to get it, civilized. It, it, it calms the nerves. That's right, because you're stressed right. out dealing with all these problems. My mom drinks a lot of tea. Does she? My wife does too. She deals with me, so, you know. So... The second thing is the headology symbol. The headology, when you play this card, you get a plus one to your die roll. You can play any number of cards in your turn that you have in your hand. Sometimes you can even add cards with some of the cards. The third thing, again, is the magic. Now, the magic is powerful in that it adds two, but it has a cost of the cackle. Being stressed out isn't a terrible thing until all of these are no longer available. In which case, you start trading off, and if you're the highest and have to take some, and there's none available, you then have to start taking black owls, which are negative points. So it's yeah. essential. So it's a bad. negative that's one bad. to your roll, yeah. Yeah, well, no, that's a negative one to your score. Oh, to your score. It's a score symbol. Right. I had one last game we played. Right, right. Um, and that's essentially the basis of the cards. Now, you also have text that allow you to do things like re-roll. They'll give you bonuses against certain aspects. They give you uh, the invisibility allows you to move through an occupied territory. Things will give you extra movement. A lot of different stuff. Um, and then the third basic thing is the location. So on the start of a turn, we're going to flip over for the location. It's called Blasted Oak, and the Blasted Oak is available. So we then take the first problem. If it's green, it goes face up, and there's a new problem there. On the start of every turn, we're going to place one out. If there's already something there or a person, if it's a person, we draw again. If there's already a problem, the problem becomes aggravated, becomes plus two difficulty. It can only get a plus two maximum. 
So so that so that sick pig just got really really sicker. Went from an eight to a ten. Right. If you don't and, deal with problems, they become worse. And then also, you keep drawing until you get a new problem. A new problem and, has to come out. And then these stacks, are they start with easy problems, right. but then they get the purple the problems, problems, the hard problems down right. underneath. The purple problems are very hard, so they tend to eventually keep dealing with the simple problems. The harder problems remain. And then when all the problems are out, that ends the game. That ends the game. That person's last turn. And it's pretty simple. It's based on how many players and how many tiles get set out. Right. So, so, so the, the so how do you, how do you turn end game? How do you get end, end game? Is when the last tile is played, we then mm. that person takes their turn. We then add up the value of all the tiles. Right. the The difficulty of the thing is uh, in the white area, in the white, in the white area, circle, and the uh, points the it's worth is in the purple. Right. Mm. So this is a hard problem. It's worth five, but the difficulty is twenty. Right. Okay. Well, you're dealing you're, you're dealing with the king of the elves. I mean, dealing with the king of the elves, and then some of the characters, like the elves and such, have further complications based on when they come up and if you succeed or fail. Also, if you ever have three elves out on the board at one time, everybody loses. Everybody loses. Well, so you don't want to. That, so you want to. Yeah, you don't want to go flipping them up because there are cards that let you reveal them. You got to be careful with that. Yeah, you want to deal with it. Uh, deal with elves as soon as they come along. You to deal with hard problems eventually. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. All right. So All let's right. play a turn here, right, Dave. Yeah, we did a placement. Turn. Your character starts with first player. Oh, I'm first player. First player. Each character. I'm Dimity Hubbub. All right. I'm uh, Tiffany Aching. She can do invisibility once. All right. So I'm I'm Petunia Gristle. Gristle, and you can heal one sick pig. Right. Sweet. No matter how sick that don't pig have to worry is. About how hard it is, you just heal a sick pig. I heal you, pig. Okay. Rise. So, so I'll start. I've got, and uh, we should also mention that some of the witches are very powerful. Right. And if they have a power of three in their text, if you can collect three of the powerful witches, different witches. Yeah, they have to be different. They can immediately solve the problem. You're a fledgling witch. These are your superiors. They can help you deal with any problem. If you have three mm -hmm. separate ones, you simply deal with the problem. It's gone. It's yours. Without having to roll or risk anything. Right. Now, now I, I, from folklore, are any, there's, there's no evil townspeople trying to like kill these witches. No, there? this is completely different. This is based on, like I said, the Terry Pratchett books. There's a series of books dealing with the witches. Uh, there's a lot of humor. There's a lot of intrigue. Uh, the, the map is beautiful, location setting. It has a lot of characteristics of the locations in the, in the story and a lot of humor involved. Uh, and the personalities involved are often in the cards. And so, this was designed by Martin Wallace. Yep. And he's known for brass, an automobile, some very some difficult, complex games. complex games. This one is very, very simple, and is is part of the Discworld series. Yes, this is the second game that Mayfair put out. Right. Yeah. And he also designed Discworld and this one. So, yeah. now just to take a turn here, I'm right here in Lancer Town. Or Lanker Town. Lanker Town. And yeah. then I have this woman has a fever, so I'm gonna try and deal with it. So I roll two dice first. Now I rolled about the most horrible roll you can roll. I rolled a cackle, cackle. which is zero, and a two. So, so he's gonna get a stress right off the bat. So I'm gonna get a stress right off the bat unless I can get a re-roll. So I have a card that yes. gives me it gives me a stressor and two extra cards. So I'll take the stressor and grab two extra cards and I'll take one for your roll too, the cackle you got. Well, I'm trying to get a re-roll, but I didn't get a re-roll, so I'm going to take a stressor for that. And now I need to get seven, so I'm going to go ahead and play one head. Headology. Yeah. Headology. So it's plus one. And two... That's, and I need to, now I need to get a three. You're at a four, and you have two dice to roll a three. I think I should be able to make that easily. You didn't do now, it first Yes, at this point I could run, but I'm <laughs> not going to do that. It was bad. And I got eight, and I, I solved the problem. 
Now I'm right there. I might as well solve this death problem. You have your second move if you mm -hmm. move to location as a problem. That's your action as well. I'm almost out of I'm almost out of cards, cards though. But I rolled an Easily. eleven. Easily. Now, even though you succeeded, you have to roll your second set to see if you get any stress from it still. And I do get a stress. So I am in need of some tea, but I it's actually not a problem until we run out of these. But I actually have this. I can have snacks and get rid of two of my stressors. So snacks with your tea? I don't even have tea. I'm just having some snacks. And so I take these cards. Those are discarded, and I draw up to my hand limit, which is three. Well, uh, four now, because you have two no, of these. I have two of them, so I get an extra card. Yeah, I forgot. Your went up. Excellent. Yep. So now it would be Dave's turn. Okay. Uh, I start out here. I have either a fever or a sick pig within walking distance. If I wanted to, I could use the flight to get someplace different. So let's go ahead, and just for giggle's sake, I'll go after the elves. And we'll see how bad this can get. Oh, no. Oh, okay. man. So you, you start off with the two dice. Now, depending on how good my roll is, it's a 20 difficulty. I got a nine. Well, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Now, that's doable. Now, at this point, I either commit to fighting or I run away. If I run away, I have to be able to move to an empty spot, and I don't take any problems. If uh, I, I can fly if I have to get away and I have nowhere to move, and that's fine, too. Uh, you have to go into an empty spot. I'm going to stick it out. So now is when I choose to do, uh, let's see, what is that? Automatically solve death, not a death problem. I'm going to head, go ahead and play magic. So I take a cackle for playing the magic. I get plus two. So now so I have 11. 11. Okay. And I'm going to use a headology. So I'm now at 12. This is, that's an escape. Okay, so, so I got you 12. Need, so you need um, an eight. I need eight on two dice. And you get a seven. And I oh. missed it. I don't have a reroll. You trip at the finish line. Yeah. So I fail. Because I failed at the commitment, the second roll, I have to take another cackle for my failure, and I have to leave. Um, I do have a flight. I'm not going to stick around here. I'll fly. I have to go to an empty spot. I'll go to Lanker Town. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. All right. So my turn, right? And it's my turn. And I didn't gain anything, so I just draw my hand up to the original three. All right, so my turn. So I'm I'm in Mar. Yeah, Mar you're in your college. Mar cottage. 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 All right. So I'm gonna. So I, is it? I can walk to this. Yes. Yeah, you can walk over right, to I'm death. I'm gonna go walk. Long walk. I'm gonna go try to cure this guy from being dead. Out of the easy problems, death is probably the best to face. It has the highest complication, but pays out the best. All right. All right. All right. So all right. So do I? I roll then. Roll two roll. dice. All two right. dice. Pair of dice. And all right, so you got a five and a cackle. If right. you have a reroll, let's see. I have a reroll. Now it can allow you to reroll just the one or both if you like. I want to roll just the one. Okay, so you play your reroll. You okay, you're at so seven. You seven out of twelve. Do now, do you, you have, have any pluses? You have a headology you can play and add one. All okay. right. So that now makes it eight. What about this? What about? You rob can, anybody. You can play that after you roll. Oh. Four dice. So you save it because you might not need it. That's right, true. and that's a that's plus true. two to the roll. So, right. so you're pretty much guaranteed. So you need a four. All right. Just don't roll a lot of cackles, and you're okay. Well, you got you the got four. It, you got a cackle, which is fine. So you take another cackle. All right. Take a cackle for that. You do accomplish death, and that's your first turn. Now you, you have another hear that, turn. Squad members, I beat death. Beat death. Stinky remains of some family member. <laughs> that's, that's true. <laughs> You're kind of like the healer. I'm not patient, dead yet. You know, veterinarian. Later, the the hard problems tend to be people or mystical situations. Mm -hmm. So uh, in the story, you're dealing with the real complications in the background. Okay. Often intrigues and plots and things like that. Got That's why they're so much harder, but also worth so much more. Gotcha. So now that, uh, now that I've played my discard, do I draw three more cards? Well, now you have another turn. You have another turn now. Oh, I do. Now, 
you have a flight because you have one more move, and a move is literally just one space. Okay. Okay, so you can't quite get anywhere from where but you're you at. But you could—he could move. He could fly to he the sick fly. pig. All right, I'm gonna go fly and try to cure this sick pig. I cure the sick pig. Now, can I eat my my free? You my can free move one? your free action, but cure the sick pig. But sweet. Or he could roll and see how he does, right. and then it's up what? to him. But I'll then I will keep it. Then I will then I will roll. Okay, see what you do because it's only an eight. <sighs> All right, you got seven. You're pretty much guaranteed. Now you'd have to be cards if you wanted to. I just roll. You're probably wondering, why am I not hearing any of the audio from our video? I can't even hear you now. <laughs> well, it's a funny story, actually. Going over and editing our videos, we encountered a small glitch where we had our, our audio just drop off, and it seems like we're pantomiming our voices. Yes, but we can remember what we said. Anyway, this board game is is great. The Witches is, is is awesome game. It's it's fun to play. And it's I quite enjoyed it. Uh, Super Dave showed us how to play. It was uh, very fine. I think I gave it a seven point five. I think that was my vote. All right. I think mine was a seven because. Because I, I think I cured too many pigs. <laughs> well, the pig curing is a big part of or the game. Or I, I got a pig disease. I can't really remember. Well, I, I might have gone down a little bit on it because there is a certain sameness to the game. But what I like about it is still there. You have randomness in order to complete your missions. But you can control that randomness with the cards that you have. And... With that, you you do have a lot of choices. It makes a nice picture in front of you, and you you're not really role playing, but you do have that I you have that feeling of you know helping the community out as a witch. So there you go, and then and, you and, have the and not being stoned to death, and you have the idea that you have the very hard hard missions and challenges so those you have to save up your cards to get the power of three to get rid of those those hard ones so and i think we're going to say um super uh super dead gave the game what i think he gave it like a nine or a ten because, all right we'll go with that because he he did really like it it's one of his favorite games in fact i said well would you rather play this or disc war which are in the same kind of uh from the same author and he said he said people got gave good reviews to disc war but he liked which is much better Alrighty, well, from all of us here at Dice Squad, this is Marshall Dice, known as Adam Campbell. And General Dice, known as... And uh, David Bowie, take us out of here.